Hello and welcome to my channel My Money Matters and this is Esther. Today I've got a bit of a different video for you. Normally I'd be saving, budgeting and cash stuffing but I'm going to show you my um, B&M haul. So I went with a friend to a massive B&M and this is just a view from the top um, to say top layer this is a view from the upstairs panning downstairs at B&M this might be your worst nightmare this might be your absolute dream so I'm just going to quickly talk to you through what's on the shelves and then I'm going to show you my haul at the end so Christmas decorations are in a lot of gonks and gnomes and deers and also there seem to be a lot of nutcrackers as well so you'll see quite a few of those featuring in the haul so the gift sets are in I don't know if this is necessarily the best way to buy presents but sometimes it's nice to have them all wrapped up this cute snuggly hood and if you're into games like Sonic and Mario they had these lovely sets and cosmetic things for those who are into that. Lots of chocolate selections and packs and obviously been in this time of year there's obviously going to be Halloween-y stuff as well but I'm here to concentrate on the Christmas stuff. So these were fun, these were like boards which you can decorate so either you can use chalk markers or that type of things. They had a load of different pez um, pezzes to choose from and various millions sweets and chocolate already you know those um, selection packs and things like that so I don't know why I concentrate so much on the chocolate but there you go they had chocolate and sweets and confectionery so let's move on from the chocolate aisle they had these, these were really cute, these are to go over um, bottles just to fancy them up a little bit for Christmas and they come with a little hat as well, I thought they were quite cute. These were fun, different flavours of candy pop, so you got candy, oh sorry, bubblegum, birthday cake, another one, and these um, slush puppies, so you stick them in the freezer and I think the idea is they turn into slush, slush puppies. Stuff for dogs. Oh my goodness. I don't have a dog, but look at these. How cute were they? And did you see the macarons at the beginning? And they had piggy chews for pigs. For pigs. For dogs. Oh my goodness. Can you tell why I don't do these things more regularly? So big selection for dogs. And Scooby Snacks. I know they feature in a song, uh, Scooby Snacks. They even have like hot dogs and little drumsticks and twizzles and all sorts of things. Um, I didn't get the cat aisle, but it was just to give you an idea of the selection for dogs. Lots and lots of different varieties. I know people love their pets and will spend out on them. So there you go. That's the pet aisle with the dogs and cute outfits. I think along here they had the bow ties. Here they are. How cute is this? The tweed one just got me. It's so cute. Um, I didn't buy it, obviously. I didn't need it and then garden stuff was starting to be reduced because it's more out of season and they had these really cute nesting teapots which I thought was nice um, nice idea for auntie uncle type present and then for little Winston I was checking out the little um the animal aisle so they had corn and um you know little treats and stuff for hamsters so going back to the end of the aisle this is more for dogs they had um, stockings and stuff then even the fairy liquid aisle is getting on board with christmas with lots of different flavored um washing up liquid i mean fairy is the best i would say but i couldn't believe that even fairy was getting on the bandwagon with that if you're a cyclist or if you know somebody who cycles and I just think you know it's quite nice to have a range a bit for men as well as ladies so some more gift sets and uh, perfumes and body sprays and you name it they seem to have it and these cute little ballerina uh, wash mitts and these were cute these were little head towels so they came in um, different varieties and they've got a bee and an animal one there as well then they had these gingerbread men face masks and bath bombs and LOL stuff if you know if your children are into that and yeah all sorts of different bath bombs a whole shelf dedicated to that. Then hair products and look fun like Christmassy hair scrunchies and hair clips they were a good price actually and uh, it was an opportunity for me to buy some things um, to go towards the shoe box as well if you do the shoe box appeal it's a good place to pick up some bits and pieces from there so even look at those hairbrushes as well little shaker christmas hairbrushes i thought they were quite fun and coming along what else we've got more hair stuff 
and the, the chocolate marzipan. Come on, not chocolate marzipan, fruit marzipan, fruit marzipan, and little Bailey's things as well. And then they even have these little honey sets, and this was like um, shots of coffee, and you can make your own sundae. So these are quite fun for family and friends. Hot chocolate sets and a Cadbury set as well. And then they have like a sweetie shop one with lots of different kinds of sweets and chocolates all kind of ready and boxed up and ready to uh, wrap up if that's what you need and a s'mores s'mores kit a chili sauce one reese's lots more bueno and m&ms and chocolate and then my friend was stopping by the scotty dog the westies um <laughs> and they the um, cookie stuff and they have your own kind of make your own gingerbread man kit which is quite handy and these little sets of like marmalade and things like that so again I think they're great for aunties and uncles they have um, pajamas and these all had like the um, mono monogram on them and even the slippers had monogram so if you want to have a bit more personalized gift and then these sparkly pink things caught, caught my eye thought I'd just film that for you <laughs> and then stuff for young kids and then I've seen these before with the little coke flavour stuff but they also had J2O flavour lip seal and then they've got Christmassy stuff in I do like a novelty Christmas hat or glasses these were cute little bags so they kind of cater for all really this was a nice range of things a very kind of naturally looking range if you want to go for wood and green as your colour scheme then b and &M is your place to go. There you can spot the gonk at the bottom. I quite like those trees at the bottom. I thought they were quite nice. Uh, reeds, cute little figurines. You know, if you're going to go Christmas mad. <laughs> uh, I noticed that a lot of people, um, not a lot of people, but, you know, they had themes set out. I was going to say people like to go for the various colours. So some people quite like the plush and pink, so you'll see that a bit later on. Um, and there's some more gonks. Oh, look, pink gonks and deers. And more nutcrackers. I don't know if that's like a new obsession this year, particularly. I know some people do like nutcrackers. So here's the plush pink range. I heard somebody say to her partner, oh, I want to go pink, plush pink this year with whites and creams. So whether he listens, I don't know. Cute toadstools as well. Yeah, they do the whole range. So if you want to kind of get a theme, you know, there you go. These were like faux glass. I think they were just plastic, but like musical um, light up things. And then for you guys in your life, those who you don't know quite what to buy for, they had some kind of novelty fun things for them as well. If you're into friends, they had friends merch and mugs and aprons and you name it, they had it there as well as Harry Potter stuff as well so it's just quite handy to know kind of what range of different things they have and they had Minnie and Mickey Mouse, LOL stuff, some Disney, uh, Pokemon and the uh, Mandalorian, the Baby Yoda, they had PlayStation 2, uh, Play I said PlayStation 2, not PlayStation 2, PlayStation stuff, Xbox stuff, um, Minecraft stuff. So, you know, for the, those who are into that kind of thing, they had lots of range there. Again, Christmassy glasses and tumblers and mugs. Bit of a stickler for a Christmas mug. I'm surprised I didn't come out with a Christmas, Christmas mug. I was trying to be very, very careful with my budget. Um, and my friend's just showing you the bowl there. They had a nice range of crockery and they had some of these nice bowls with a design on the outside as well as the designs on the inside. These caught our eye, the ones with the little feet on, but they were quite expensive. The Gonk one was more expensive. And these were cute. I saw these initial uh, mittens and stocking decorations, again, for more personalisation. These measuring spoons in Santa and Gonks, and these are lovely big measuring jugs. I did like that. Very cuddly, squashy cushions, which I didn't manage to walk by without giving them a big squeeze. <laughs> and then some more grown-up kind of party-type games. If that's your bag for Christmas and you like to have some games or have a bit of fun. And 
then I saw this online and I was intrigued to see it was quite big. It's a money pot and good for us push it is. I quite liked it. I did resist it. Then if you're into churros, if you want to make your own hot chocolate or waffles or candy floss or coffee, what else do I have here? Um, waffles, marshmallow toasting kit, popcorn maker or a chocolate fountain. They had it there. And then for those who are budding social mediaists, uh, stuff to do with like ring lights and microphones and all sorts. And then stationery and arts and crafts stuff. Look at those giant chalks. They're very cool. Elmer's glue. So if you're into making slime, then that would come in handy. Again, personalised notebooks. These are really fun for um, gifts, for stockings, or if you want to just personalise something with people that you <laughs> look at this notebook blah 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 it says <laughs> and then upstairs was more home decor so I'm just going to scan you around briefly at the upstairs with the home decor stuff so they had quite a few different like macrame things and they had autumnal uh, decorations as well as more Christmassy ones so I did actually come away with an autumn decoration which I think I show you at the end so lots of candles, candle holders, deers, plants, plant pots. Very reasonably, reasonably priced and really nice home decor things upstairs. So this is sort of the more natural, fresh grasses and decorations and wheats and that type of thing. So bearing in mind this is one of the biggest uh, B&Ms, so... They might not have the full range where you are, but I thought I'd just do the videoing to give you an idea of what they had. And here's me showing you what I then bought from my haul. So we got these nice fluffy Christmas socks. You get three in a pack and they were five pounds. Um, I'm actually going to give these to my youngest son. They're nice and fluffy and I thought I can get away with just stripy socks. Then for my oldest son, who's got much bigger feet, these were £4 for some slipper socks. Nice and cosy. Then I got this. This is really gross. It's a, a stretchy, sticky, long worm thing, which I might actually save for a birthday or something like that. Because I've got, I feel like I've got enough stocking bits and pieces. Then I saw these candy canes and they're just quite handy for stocking fillers or for little gifts to, um, you know, give to friends as well. And they come in all these different flavours. Cupcake, cherry pie, bubblegum and strawberry jelly and ice cream flavour. I thought that was quite cool for a pound for 12. Then I've got some monkey nuts. These are for the hamster because he likes those and they're only a pound. Also for the hamster, this flower forage bar, which I'm hoping he'll like. Lots of grass and flowers and bits and bobs in there. I think, again, that was probably about a pound, thereabouts, as a treat. This a Pokemon mug. I was debating whether to get this or not. Um, it was a fiver. But again, I think it's something that I might just save either for Christmas or a birthday. And I thought also it could be used for a pen pot or something like that, as well as uh, a mug, if he didn't want to use it as a mug. They had these chocolate spoons. They had them in different flavours. So you um, just add milk to make hot chocolate. So this one was mint and salted caramel. I think they had a plain flavour and I think it was caramel or something else. So again, great for stocking fillers. Packet of spearmints. This is going to go in my in laws' stocking. Some blackjacks for my husband's stocking. I thought these were quite fun. Um, slushy drinks. So you put them in the freezer and then I think you just squish them and they turn into slushies. This was going to go into my sister-in-law's stocking, just a little hand sanitizer, which I thought was quite cute. It's a nice little stocking filler. These I bought, they were £3 for eight. 
um, because they're wooden, they're not for Christmas, but they're just for me to do some pyrography with. Um, that's like, I've got a wood burning tool, so I sometimes use spoons to do engraving on and use those for personalised gifts. My son is still into his Rubik's Cubes, and they, they did have a few Rubik's Cube things. So this little key ring and this um, tower twister. So I'm not sure, again, whether I'm going to save these or whether they're going to be stocking fillers. I need to have a little think about that. I bought this for myself, for my autumn display. Um, it's not wood, it's like a faux wood. It's like clay, really, a uh, candle holder. So that would go nicely on my mantelpiece. And that was, how much was that one? That was three pounds. Now this, <laughs> sounds gross, snot shots, deliciously, delicious bogeys. Apple flavour gummy sweets with black currant gooey centres. I mean, like what kid won't love those? I just thought they sound so gross. They just, <laughs> I had to get them. Um... Again, they had some fun things like this. Um, hopefully you'll see that in the video. So this one's birthday cake. Again, I just I will save that for my son's birthday in March. Just a, a fun little can of drink. Then I got some just, I know it's random, but again, this is for my husband's um, stocking. Just, you know, they're difficult to buy for and it's something practical and usable. So these as well I thought I might save these for a present for some other time little secret message pens quite fun for kids to use and just have a little play with then each year they had these last year and I bought uh, my boys something similar last year and they really enjoyed them so this year I've gone for the giant slushy and the giant hot dog I was tempted to the animal ones like the spider and things but I resisted then this pack of six air fresheners. I thought these were really cute and you can actually scratch and sniff the little stickers. <laughs> I, I, I was one over with those. You can scratch and sniff. I mean, come on. Uh, six air fresheners for only £1.50. And I thought, again, this is the kind of thing that you can team up with. You know, if you've got gifts that you want to give, like little gifts to a number of people, you can do an air freshener, some candy canes, that kind of thing. Just as a little stocking filler type present. <coughs> Then I got some of this foam burst shower gel. Again, my sister-in-law likes this, so that was to go towards her prezi or stocking. And because she's um, moving house, I bought her this toolkit for a present because that was on her, her wish list. So for £12, I thought that was a really decent price for all those tools that you get in there. So I did buy some other edibles, but I thought there's no point showing you <laughs> all my edibles. I thought I'd just show you the main kind of stocking filler type presents. So I hope you enjoyed my haul. I hope you get some inspiration if you do go to B&M. I actually did visit a few of them. It wasn't just the one big one. We ended up going to three different ones just because they were on the way. Um, I think most of the stuff was from the bigger B&M and some more locally. But there you go. Thanks for watching.